Friends, let me explain very quickly uh, why uh, when a uh, phenomenon is described as falling in a parallel class, you have to worry. Why, uh, why the body of the distribution has no information, becomes anecdote, and, and only information would be in the tails. Because the definition of fat tails is the, the rare event contributes to most of the properties. And, and of course, we have parameterization with power laws for those who are familiar with it, alpha, and the lower the alpha, the more uh, the tail uh, wags the dock, so to speak, and there is noise in the body of distribution. So let me share a screen with you and, uh, and illustrate it with a very simple formula that you can use. So uh, you can pull out the inverse survival function using this process. Don't get too technical because we're going to give a very simple formula. And you can pull K, where survival function means probability of exceeding with a given parameterization with L uh, and alpha. L, of course, uh, this will disappear from the equation. We'll see. We'll see. And, um, and, and K is pro the, the, the threshold. So probability of exceeding K threshold is P. And, and you can pull out the threshold because luckily with power laws, we can do an inverse, uh, a close form inverse uh, uh, survival function. Survival function means again, the probability of exceeding a certain threshold. Um, and then MK is the, uh, the contribution uh, above that threshold. Of, of, so in other words, if 20% uh, of the people, the threshold is 20%, the top 20% of the people uh, have uh, at that threshold k, uh, the, the 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 will contribute to x uh, to to m k uh, percent of the total. Okay, it, it maximum hundred percent, and 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 of course it between zero and hundred. Uh, and the formula is very simple. It comes out replacing with what we did earlier with the inverse survival function. We get p to the uh, one minus uh, one over alpha. So. Pretty much a simple, a simple, very simple equation. Let's apply it here. Let's say what is if the alpha is 1.15, how much does one in a thousand represent of the total properties? 0.4. If the alpha, the one percent, 0.55. <laughs> so and actually this is the 80/20 because if I do p equal 0.2, it's close to the 80/20. Okay, you got a, I think the alpha 1.16 for the 80/20. So the 80-20 tells you 20% has of, of, say, the population would have 80% of wells or whatever uh, property you're looking at, but also that 0.02% will have 58% and 0.02, not 2%, uh, 0.01 will have 53%. So with a simple equation, you can, you can compute what's going on. Uh, you can also apply it to financial markets. Options are very fat tailed. So an option portfolio will have, okay, most of this property determined by a very small number of, of months or events. So here, if you have an option portfolio like the one we have here, 1% uh, of the days represent 95% of the properties and even one in a thousands, point oh, 93, one day in a thousand represent 94% of PNL, 93% of PNL. So thank you for listening to me and uh, have an excellent day. Bye.